message. One of the questions that I wanted to put out is sort of gimmicks or cl cleverness, or I've decided, oh, I should write a dialogue, or I should, you know, write my obituary, or, you know, to what degree would something like this make me seem as a memorable, clever guy who we definitely need to let in, or as, oh God, not, a one, not another one of those? Yeah. I, would imagine that the, I would imagine that it depends on whether or not the cleverness stops at the idea. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. And how many clever so, people so. they feel they need for next year. <laughs> 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 I, look, I, I think it's, okay, it's a hard thing to pull off. I mean, I think that's what we're saying. Yeah. It's a hard thing to pull off. And if you don't pull it off, it's not a good thing. It's yeah, well, and I think this Bruce's point is, is a good one because in, in none of this writing should it stop at the idea. It's not about what you're saying. It's sort of about what the experience of reading what you're saying evokes in the mind of the reader and how this plays into the more general consideration of the application, that this is all part of a process of being evaluated and the degree to which you come across as sympathetic or somebody they'd like to have around, I think will go a long way towards increasing the chance that you're invited to the party rather than sort of left for someone else to take care of. Mm. How about humor? Uh, is that, I mean, humor can be flat-footed and deadening, but it can also be enlivening. What would you, how would you counsel uh, somebody on the use of humor? Um, try not to be deadening. That's a good piece of advice. <laughs> um, I think you're exactly right. I, look, for, for me, when I read an essay that makes me genuinely smile, that's a really, really good thing. That's a good thing. Like cleverness, like what Bruce was talking about. It, that's, it's a hard thing to pull off, but I, 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 I guess I wouldn't use the hu word humor as much as just lightness to it. This doesn't have to be weigh a ton. This doesn't have to be sober and serious and big. It doesn't have to be all those things. It has to be you. We were talking before we walked out here, uh, Bruce and I were talking, and we were talking about sort of most admissions people would, I think, if they took truth serum, would say what I'm about to tell you, which is, so I admit an entering class at Georgetown Law School, and, and here's the, the number of admits. And if I went ahead and did the exact same thing again, I might admit other people than I did the first time. This is art, not science. This is art, not science. There's nothing so data-driven about this, thank goodness, not yet anyway, that's going to sort of focus me and make me do what I want to do. <clears throat> You're the ones who will make us do what you want us to do. And you'll do it by presenting yourself in a way that allows us to get to know you. If it's humor, and I think if it works, it's, that's an A+. Plus. It's great, really great. But that we're trying to, those of us who do this, we are trying to admit an orchestra. We are not just admitting violinists. The faculty doesn't want just violinists. They want a whole orchestra of people. And your voice, if it's an authentic voice and does the thing that these terrific writers are talking about, that voice, how it will add to the community, that enhances your profile, enhances your chances of being, of being admitted. 